to infinity and beyond. Alright, so Pixar's Lightyear has finally arrived in theaters and I had to take a little bit of time to be able to actually be able to see it because I was on vacation in California if you've been following my recent uploads. So I didn't get a chance to see it opening weekend, unfortunately. But I gotta say, I did enjoy Lightyear. I think this is a very fun Pixar movie, Toy Story adjacent. As some of you may or may not know, this movie is about Buzz Lightyear, right? <laughs> but it is the movie that inspired the toy in Toy Story, right? This is the movie that it says in the very beginning, this isn't really a spoiler or anything, but Andy's, this is Andy's favorite movie. This is where the toy, you know, was made from. This is how he got the toy. He watched this movie in 1995, in the very first Toy Story, right? Or at least right before it. And it was a fun adventure. You know, my real, not really complaint, but I guess lack of enthusiasm for it going into it was the fact that Tim Allen was not doing the voice. Love Chris Evans, I do, but I was less than thrilled to find out that Tim Allen was not going to be doing the voice because he is Buzz Lightyear. I mean, he even did it in that animated movie, right? But I did enjoy Chris Evans as Buzz Lightyear. I think he did a phenomenal job, and I mean, he's definitely no Tim Allen, right? Not going to replace Tim Allen for me. But I think he did a very good job. He he completely handled Buzz Lightyear's character very well. And, you know, this isn't the same character as Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story, right? This is not that Buzz Lightyear. But you can see how Tim Allen's Buzz Lightyear character is very much a resemblance of... The, Chris Evans character you know he's the toy of that character right so there was a lot of winks and nods to the Toy Story version of Buzz Lightyear and that was cool it was you know you, you see the origin of a lot of stuff but just like different mannerisms that he has right you see in the trailer like mission log stuff that is very Toy Story-esque, right? There's a lot of little things that I was very happy because I've been a Toy Story viewer my entire life, right? I came out when I was, actually came out before I was born. The first one did. I was born in 97. So Toy Story has been a part of my life my whole life. Love that aspect. Uh, all the other surrounding cast members, great. I loved all of the characters. The comedic characters they all do a wonderful job there's a lot of heart in this movie you know in the first 30 minutes there's very much a all right we're gonna punch you in the gut right and you know i i knew of that going into it because i've heard a lot of the reactions but it still was like oh someone's cutting onions in here you know uh so there's a lot of heart and soul in this movie and there's there's some great comedic moments you know, this is very much a family film you know, adults will definitely be able to appreciate this like myself kids are gonna love this movie yeah, this is a very fun sci-fi adventure about Buzz Lightyear and that's what you're getting you know this is not a highbrow Pixar movie, as I've come to expect from Pixar. Ugh. Excuse me. <laughs> For the most part, I expect. Well, I shouldn't really expect it, but you know, you've come to expect this high bar Pixar movie, like Toy Story one, two, and three, and even four for me. You know, these are the upper echelon, right? You got your your uh, your up. For example, your soul. I quite enjoyed soul. Your, I think it's, 
pretty sure it's inside out. I'm ninety percent sure. You got Coco, right? These are your top echelon Pixar movies. I would say Buzz, or sorry, just Lightyear. There's no Buzz, right? It's just Lightyear. I would say this movie kind of comes here. You know, this is like a second tier good Toy Story movie, kind of like the first Cars or Turning Red. You know, a good, solid one. And, uh, you know, that, that's great, right? I was hoping for that top echelon because we haven't really gotten one of those in a while. You know, Turning Red was not here. It was good, but it was not here. And that did leave me a little bit disappointed, but... I, that's really the only disappointing thing in this movie is it just wasn't great. You know, it was good. It was fun. It was funny. There was a lot of heart. All of that. And I will recommend this movie. I mean, especially if you are a Toy Story fan. You know, a lot of us adults now grew up on this stuff. I and mean, our parents, they took us. So there's a lot of fans of Toy Story out there. And this is a good movie for you to watch. If you're not a fan of Toy Story, you think, oh, that's just the most dumb movie about toys. This is not a movie about toys. This is a fun sci-fi adventure, and I think you will also like it if you like sci-fi adventure stuff, you know. If you don't, then I don't know how to help you. You're just, you're just going to miss out, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, those are just my thoughts on Lightyear. Tell me in the comment section down below if you've seen it. What were your thoughts on the movie? What were your thoughts on... The Toy Story franchise in general, does this live up to that franchise for you? Is it better? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know your opinion. Tell me about it. Anyways, leave a like on this video for more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos as I upload as frequently as I can. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, take care.